Hi, this is Sarah. Continuing on the series, How to Raise Your Children in the Diaspora Without Ending Up in Jail. Sorry, my voice is a bit funny because I have a little bit of uh, allergy so going on. Anyway, so you know how they say that prevention is better than cure? Meaning, it's better to prevent a disease than to cure it. Well, the same thing could be said for raising uh, children in the diaspora. When you relocate from your place or whether Nigeria, Ghana, Kenya, wherever to somewhere in Europe or anywhere else, first and foremost, find out the laws of the land. Ask questions. I, I know that sometimes, more, oftentimes, uh, African mothers, they arrived in a new place and uh, they find out where their home church is. When you step into a church, into any church you want to go, if that be the first place you want to uh, you want to go to, look around, find out people that have been in that country a long time, people who might or could potentially know more than you, and go to them. So don't be shy, don't feel embarrassed. Go to them, humble yourself a bit, and ask them about laws that govern, you know raising children information is power knowledge is power when you have all the knowledge all of this vital knowledge and information at your disposal believe me if you're ever confronted i'll be able to uh, take care of whatever that situation is sometimes uh, some african uh, mothers will say oh well i just want to mind my own business i don't care about the things in the land what is concerning me and that's actually not uh, very empowering because if you have access to all of this uh, information you're actually empowered as i said before in the first video if you wait to have a problem before you address that problem it's already too late if and in the case of uh, finding out it's not allowed to like in Africa, you want to discipline your child and you were raised maybe that to get the child to listen to you sort of sometimes have to just, you know, smack the child. If you come from a culture that allows that and you come to Europe and you think you're going to continue the same way, you might end up in jail. So when you arrive in, the, in your new country, get to know the laws that govern raising children in that country. Because if you know that you're not supposed to, you will have to find another way to uh, raise your child or you raise your children without resorting to smacking them when they've been stubborn or when you feel they've been disrespectful in europe there's nothing like oh yeah well i'm going to beg them i'm going to go to them uh maybe they look at me crying and wailing and they just feel sorry for me no they walk by the rules and the laws of the land and so if you fall foul of the rules and the law you fall foul in europe or in the Western world, I did not know it's no excuse. Ignorance is no excuse. So you need to find out what you need to know uh, concerning being a mother or raising children in your new place. So that's the second uh, uh, part of this uh, video. Find out the laws governing the raising of children, parenting children, the moment you arrive in your new place. That's the first thing you should do. It's very vital. Much more than looking for where to make hair, because I know that especially with mothers, that's really important to us. Uh, you, that should be the topmost thing on your list. You know, information on how to raise children, what's allowed and what is not allowed, what you can do safely and what you cannot do safely. And so, um, until next time, uh, uh, my name is Sarah and uh, speaking to you about uh, motherhood and parenting uh, from the diaspora and raising your children in the diaspora as an African parent without risking going to jail or having your children taken from you. If you like what you're hearing, by the way, subscribe to the channel, press the subscribe button, click like and the notification button so that when the next video comes, uh, comes out, you'll be notified. Until next time, um, here is wishing you good parenting.